Hello. In this video, we are going to install a popular time series data platform, the InfluxDB, with Docker. So let's get started. I'm going to create a directory by the name InfluxDB on the Google Cloud Shell. Inside this directory, I'm going to create two new directories. One is config and one is data. So the config directory is for storing configuration related to InfluxDB and the data directory is for storing the contents of the var lib InfluxDB2 directory. So now let's create a network in which we can launch the InfluxDB container. So docker network create and I'm going to put the name for this network also as InfluxDB. So the network is now created. We can now launch our InfluxDB container using the docker run command. So docker run, first I'd give the port options, 8080 for the local host port and 8086 for the InfluxDB container. And then I'd be mounting the first volume, which is the config directory here. So present working directory pwd slash config. And then we have the second volume which is for the data directory. So pwd slash data, and this gets mapped with var live InfluxDB2. Okay, so the port is defined, the volumes are also mounted, and then we can specify the network to which this container belongs to. So we can say hyphen hyphen net, which is equal to InfluxDB, which is the name of the network. And then comes the name of the container, which is again in FluxDB. We can use the hyphen D option to store the container, to run the container in detached mode. And finally, we have to specify the image of the container, which is again in FluxDB. I'm not using the tag here, which means the latest tag from DocHub will be picked. Hit enter. Seems good. The container seems to be running. So let's check with Docker PS command. We can also view the same output with the Docker container ls command. So the influx DB container seems to be running. And, and the local host port 8080 is getting mapped with 8086, which means that if we now go ahead and check the web preview on port 8080, we should be able to get into the login screen of InfluxDB. Let's try it out. So we get the InfluxDB get started page. So it's working. So that's it for this video. We just created a network using Docker and then we ran the InfluxDB container on the network that we created. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.